Our other top story tonight, newly released body cam video from Metro Police showing the chaos officers faced the night of a deadly fire and the heroism from first responders. As the investigation into the Alpine Motel fire continues more than a month later now, Metro Police shared their perspective of what exactly happened that night. 8 News Now reporter Shakela Alvarenga takes us through the dramatic video. Well, Brian and Denise, for the first time, we're actually getting a closer look at how first responders saved countless lives that day, quickly jumping into action after a fire broke out at the Alpine Motel Apartments. Body camera footage shows the harrowing moments Metro Police responded to a deadly fire. Oh, she rebroke her ankle. Oh, can you, can you hear this? A pregnant woman screams for help. This is bad. In the video, police scaled the side of the Alpine Motel apartments to help several people escape. The exit door inside of the building was reportedly bolted shut. The scene is hectic. Families desperately search for their loved ones. Where is Michael? Oh, my son. Chaos ensues as an officer breaks a window to help those who are trapped. The fire was reportedly caused by a stove that was used to heat a first floor unit. Someone up there still. Okay, who? Let me see. His name's Blue. This was the city's deadliest residential fire. Six people died and 13 others were injured. Uh, we have several deceased, so we probably should start taping the area. Engine one for one second. Engine 10, you copy that assignment? Sure. Huh? Yeah. Sure. yeah. No charges have been filed in connection to the case, but a wrongful death lawsuit has been filed on behalf of one of those victims. Brian. All right, Shakela, thank you. In light of that deadly fire, the Las Vegas City Council, they are working on a plan to improve the city's inspection, progress, and process for multifamily rental properties. That proposal includes several components, including informational sessions, training, changes to property, inspection, and more enforcement. City leaders hope to have this all implemented by September.